In 1910, the Great Flood of Meiji devastated Tokyo, submerging nearly 60% of the central city and displacing thousands of residents. Then, in 1958, Typhoon Ida plunged 1.5 million homes underwater, leaving catastrophic consequences in its wake. These disasters made it clear that Tokyo wasn't facing an isolated issue, but an all-out war against flooding. Building blockades like the Wall of Constantinople was no option. Tokyo's greatest vulnerability lies in its geography. Encircled by four major rivers, the Sumida, Arakawa, Tama, and Edo, the city faces heightened flood risks every year. But instead of relying on traditional barriers, Japan devised an ingenious solution to transform its weakness into a monumental strength, an underground flood management system unlike anything seen before. Picture this, tunnels so vast they could fit a passenger jet, and pumps so powerful they can drain an Olympic-sized pool in just three seconds. Tokyo's $2 billion underground flood control system isn't just impressive, it's a game changer. But why is it called the temple? What makes this colossal engineering marvel stand out in a city constantly battling typhoons? Could its vast chambers have uses beyond flood control? Hey everyone, Jerry here. Today we're going to dive deep into Tokyo's incredible $2 billion underground flood defense system uncovering the groundbreaking engineering that makes it so effective, the obstacles it's designed to tackle, and the lessons it offers for cities around the world. Stay tuned, because what we're about to explore will completely change how you think about flood protection. Let's get started. What if, instead of fighting against floods, we learn to live with them by creating a system designed to absorb their full force? This groundbreaking idea lies at the heart of the Metropolitan Area Outer Underground Discharge Channel, more famously known as GCANs. Built over an incredible 14 years from 1992 to 2006, this engineering marvel sits 50 meters beneath the Saitama Prefecture, just north of Tokyo. Spanning 6.4 kilometers, it represents a visionary approach to flood management, blending scale, innovation, and sheer ingenuity. At the core of this subterranean fortress are five immense containment silos. How massive, you ask? Each stands at 70 meters tall and measures 32 meters in diameter. So large they could fit a space shuttle. <laughs> but these silos aren't just impressive feats of engineering. They're vital components of a system designed to protect Tokyo's streets from the devastating effects of typhoons and heavy rainfall. Acting as entry points, these silos funnel floodwaters into a vast network of underground tunnels, redirecting the destructive force of the floodwaters before they can wreak havoc on the surface. And where does all this water go? Into the pressure-adjusting water tank, a structure so awe-inspiring it's earned the nickname the Temple. Imagine a space that's 177 meters long, 78 miles wide, and 25.4 meters high supported by 59 massive pillars, each weighing 500 tons. These columns evoke the grandeur of an ancient colonnade, but their purpose is anything but decorative. Designed with incredible precision, they allow the reservoir to withstand the immense pressure of incoming floods, transforming chaos into controlled flow. So what makes GCANs more than just an engineering marvel? It's the seamless choreography behind its operations, a system so advanced and efficient that it transforms chaos into control. So, how does this engineering marvel manage to keep entire cities dry during torrential downpours? Let's break it down. When heavy rainfall or typhoons hit, swollen rivers threaten to overflow, but the system steps in like a silent guardian. <laughs> Specially designed intake channels strategically placed near vulnerable urban areas intercept the surge before it can cause devastation. These channels are more than entry points, they're lifelines, capturing runoff from rivers such as the Naka and Ayase and funneling it into the heart of the system. From there, gravity takes the reins, pulling the water down into massive silos, each capable of holding staggering amounts of floodwater. 
But what happens next? The real magic lies beneath the surface. These silos are connected by a network of tunnels, each with a diameter of 10.6 meters, wide enough to fit a subway train. These tunnels lead directly to the system's crown jewel, the central pressure-adjusting tank, often called the temple. This tank doesn't only store water, it's the brain of the operation, regulating pressure fluctuations to keep the entire system stable. Imagine the immense force of millions of liters of water. This tank absorbs and mitigates that power, ensuring the infrastructure remains intact and the flow continues seamlessly. And what about all that water once the storm has passed? That's where the turbines come in. From the pressure tank, the water is pumped out into the Edo River, a larger waterway designed to handle such massive volumes. But these aren't your average pumps. Four turbines, each weighing 14 tons, can move 200 tons of water per second, enough to drain an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just three seconds. <laughs> How is that possible? Well, these turbines are powered by gas engines derived from jetliner technology, delivering extraordinary power while keeping noise and vibrations to a minimum. Every step of this process, from capturing floodwaters to safely releasing them, relies on the precise coordination of silos, tunnels, and turbines. This seamless interplay ensures the system can handle nature's worst while protecting the lives and livelihoods of those above ground. But why is the central pressure adjusting tank referred to as the temple? The nickname isn't only about its size, it's a reflection of the awe-inspiring design and grandeur of the pressure adjusting tank. Step inside and you're greeted by a cavernous chamber that feels more like a shrine than a piece of infrastructure. Towering columns, each 18 meters tall and weighing an astonishing 500 tons, rise toward the ceiling like the colonnades of an ancient temple. These massive supports, arranged in symmetrical rows, do more than just hold up the vast reservoir above. They create a solemn atmosphere. At 177 meters long, 78 meters wide, and 25.4 meters high, the chamber's sheer scale leaves visitors in awe, making them feel tiny within this underground marvel. And it doesn't stop there. The temple has transcended its original purpose, becoming a cultural icon. Its dramatic aesthetics have made it a popular filming location for movies, music videos, and documentaries. While the temple stands as a beacon of engineering brilliance and cultural admiration, the story of G-Cans is equally one of determination and triumph over immense challenges. So, how did this audacious project manage to transform Tokyo's flood defenses while tackling its own set of obstacles? Since its completion, G-Cans have become the cornerstone of Tokyo's flood management strategy. The results speak volumes a 90% reduction in economic losses caused by flooding and the transformation of high-risk flood zones into thriving urban spaces. For countless residents, this system provides not just protection, but peace of mind during typhoon season, ensuring that homes, businesses, and critical infrastructure remain secure even under the most severe conditions. But such monumental achievements don't come without significant hurdles. Let's start with the price tag. The $2 billion construction cost was a staggering financial commitment. Additionally, the system demands ongoing maintenance to ensure its flawless operation, a painstaking process involving an intricate network of tunnels, silos, and pumps. This requires not only substantial financial resources, but also cutting edge expertise. Then there's the environmental cost. Did you know that G-Cans rely on high-power turbines to pump water into the Edo River at astonishing speeds? While effective, these turbines consume significant energy, raising valid concerns about their carbon footprint. Critics have pointed out the irony of tackling one environmental issue, flooding, while potentially contributing to another through increased emissions. And the challenges don't stop with infrastructure. Climate change is an ever-present factor, bringing unpredictable rainfall patterns and intensifying extreme weather events. Originally designed to handle up to 50 millimeters of rain per hour, 
the system faces growing pressure to evolve as the stakes rise. The scale and resilience of Tokyo's flood tunnels inspire speculation about their potential for alternative uses. These underground chambers, with their robust construction and strategic location, present opportunities beyond flood control. Could they serve as evacuation shelters during emergencies, such as earthquakes or nuclear incidents? Their depth and structural integrity, designed to withstand immense water pressure, could make them a valuable option for protecting civilians from external threats. Similarly, their vast network could be adapted into transportation corridors, offering underground routes for vehicles or rail systems, especially in a densely populated urban area like Tokyo. Japan's history of adaptability shows its ability to repurpose infrastructure for various needs. GCANs could follow this path, transforming from a flood control system into a multifunctional asset. In peacetime, the chamber could host cultural events or exhibitions, while still serving as shelters in emergencies. As climate change intensifies, Tokyo plans to future-proof GCANs with AI and IoT, enabling real-time flood prediction and system adjustments. Expansion plans and sustainable innovations like renewable energy pumps and water filtration will ensure long-term effectiveness. As cities worldwide grapple with the impacts of climate change, GCANs offers valuable lessons. Could such systems protect flood-prone regions like Miami and Bangladesh? And could this approach inspire a new era of multi-purpose infrastructure? Let us know your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more incredible content.